Science Behind Bungee Jumping Bungee jumping is an exciting and adrenaline-fueled activity that involves jumping from a high platform with only a bungee cord to break your fall. But have you ever wondered about the science behind how bungee jumping works? In this video, we will explore the physics principles that power bungee jumping, including the concepts of gravity, acceleration, and elasticity. We will also answer the question of whether a bungee jumper is accelerating if they slow down during the final part of their fall. 5 Keywords Bungee, Jumping, Physics, Gravity, Elasticity, Adrenaline Introduction Bungee jumping is not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of courage to hurl yourself off of a high platform with only a bungee cord to break your fall. But what makes bungee jumping possible is the power of science. In this video, we will take a closer look at the physics principles that make bungee jumping work. We will explore the concepts of gravity, acceleration, and elasticity, and how they all come together to create one of the most thrilling activities in the world. The Science Behind Bungee Jumping When you bungee jump, you are essentially falling freely towards the ground until the bungee cord reaches its maximum stretch and begins to slow you down. This is a result of the interaction between gravity and the tension in the bungee cord. Gravity Gravity is the force that pulls objects towards each other. In the case of bungee jumping, gravity pulls the jumper towards the ground as they fall. As the jumper gets closer to the ground, their velocity increases, meaning they are accelerating. This acceleration is what makes bungee jumping such an exhilarating experience. Elasticity The bungee cord is made of elastic materials, which means that it can stretch without breaking. As the jumper falls towards the ground, the bungee cord stretches and absorbs some of the energy from their fall. This energy is then stored in the cord as potential energy. Tension As the bungee cord stretches, the tension in the cord increases. This tension is what slows down the jumper's fall and eventually brings them to a stop. As the bungee cord becomes taut, the jumper's velocity decreases, which means they are decelerating or slowing down. Is a bungee jumper accelerating as they slow down? The answer to this question is not as straightforward as you might think. While it is true that the bungee jumper is slowing down during the final part of their fall, they are not necessarily accelerating. This is because acceleration is a change in velocity, and the bungee jumper's velocity is not changing during the final part of their fall. Instead, they are experiencing a constant decrease in velocity as the tension in the bungee cord increases. Bungee jumping is an incredible activity that combines the rush of adrenaline with the power of science. By understanding the physics principles that make bungee jumping possible, we can appreciate just how thrilling this experience can be. So the next time you take the plunge, remember, it's not just an act of courage, it's also an act of science. <laughs>